Cobras, glad to see you're back. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. Even though we still had a break here at Fountain Lake, we still had a busy month, so let's get into it. On November 9th through 12th, our high school FCCLA officers got the amazing opportunity to travel to Birmingham, Alabama for the National Fall Leadership Conference. The officers got to go to so many workshops and learn how to make their FCCLA chapter successful. Here are some pictures from the trip. All right, so I'm here with uh, Miranda Som, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about the FFA trip to Indianapolis. So tell us a little bit about the trip. Okay, so we left Monday morning, and we took two days to travel up there. We stopped in Bowling Green for the night. Um, on the way we were up there, we also stopped at several tours along the way, including an RSG tour where we met a cloned goat named Iconic. He was super cool. Um, then we got to go sightseeing around the city in Indianapolis. Um, when we got to the actual convention center, it was an amazing experience. There were so many things that you would not expect to see in this convention center. On Friday, we then went to the local Pacers NBA game, and that was a once in a lifetime experience. We got to shoot free throws on the court, um, and I loved really seeing everyone just come together and cheer on a team that wasn't even our own. Um, so what did you learn about the trip? While I was on the trip, I learned how to better help my local chapter uh, by the workshops that I attended while I was at the convention center. We also went to the National FFA Museum and I got to learn about FFA history. Um, I also learned that people from different places and different backgrounds can all come together under one common interest. Uh, what was your favorite memory? My favorite memory from this trip was just meeting all the different people. There were close to 70,000 people just at this convention center and I learned also that that's only 5% of the entire um, organization. There were people that I traveled with like on the bus up there that I didn't even know and by the end of the trip I made so many great memories that I'll never forget. Alright, thank you. I'm Cam and I'm here with Coach Dett, Senior High Basketball Coach and today I'm going to be interviewing him. Coach Dett, what are your expectations for the ongoing season this far? Well, the season's still pretty young. Right now my main expectations that are Kids work hard every day. Uh, we make improvements every day and just keep a growth mindset and, and keep improving to where, you know, we're the best that we're going to be at the end of the year. Um, as far as winning and losing, you know, right now I'm more about the process and developing um, kids, uh, you know, but you're, you always have aspirations to want to compete to win conference and and you know win district tournament make postseason so i don't think any of those goals change any but right now my main focus is on the process and just improving and and seeing what uh, what this team's made out of sir what's something that you like about this team that you have right now uh one thing i was really proud of my kids is the preseason that we had uh the kids had great attitudes they worked hard um they're getting up you know, three days a week and making 7 a.m. morning uh, lifting workouts. Uh, they're working hard. We did a lot of conditioning, a lot of toughness um, drills. So, so I was really proud of how hard they worked and, and you know, the improvements that they made um, this preseason. Um, fantastic attitudes and, you know, you know that's makes coaching a lot more fun when, when you have attitudes like that. Yes, sir, thank you. No problem. I'm Devin Williams, and I'm here with Nick Johnson of the high school basketball team. Nick, what do you think the season's going to look like for the team? You know, I think we're going to have a pretty good season. We started out 2-1 uh, and one against Mountain Pine Cutter and Baptist Prep. Looking at our uh, fourth win tonight against, uh, or our third win tonight against uh, Center Point. I think that we'll go, we'll win 20 plus games this year and hopefully have a good season. Make it to state, hopefully. Um, what do you think over this offseason has improved the most about your game? I think I've improved my defense a lot better. Uh, I'm averaging more steals this year than I was last year. So I think that's been an improvement of the off season. Thank you. I'm here with Wyatt Clem of the Fountain Lake basketball team. Wyatt, what will the team need this season to be successful? I think we'll need better shooting because we've been shooting the ball pretty poorly so far through the first three games of the season and probably to execute on offense a little bit better. Uh, what do you think improved the most over the offseason for you? 
I'd say my scoring, I improved my scoring about 10 points per game so far in the first three games. So I'd say it's scoring. Hi, I'm Gibby, and I'm here with Leland Green, uh, our career coach and counselor. So, Mr. Green, tell us a little about yourself. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me here today, and it's great to be back. Of course. So, I come from a little place called London in England, and mm -hmm. at school I was very quiet and very, very shy, but still got involved in various clubs. Mm. Uh, I was in Reaper Graphics, I was in the school yearbook, I was in school productions, and the school soccer team as well, and mm. the Rotary Club. Mr. Popular. I was indeed, or so I think. Oh. <laughs> in my senior year, I was clueless, absolutely clueless about my career path, but thankfully, my art teacher told me I needed to apply to my local college. So I studied visual communication. And then college, oh my gosh, college was mm. super, super tough. Mm. Uh, a friend in administration told me about a little place called Dalian, and she said, go to Dalian New Soft University of Information in China. They were looking for Western teachers. Mm. So with my degree, I taught oral English, and that's where I met my first girlfriend, Ooh. who's my wife. Oh my goodness. Yes. Uh, back in England, uh, an opportunity popped up to work for the UK government and I helped the country's top medical assessors Fancy. with approving and licensing pharmaceutical drugs around Europe. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? That's crazy. And then in 2016, my family and I took a massive leap of faith Ooh. and moved to Hot Springs Village. And I became a skills trainer instructor at CHI St. Vincent Project Search. And now I'm here talking to you. Oh my goodness. I feel honored. You are. So, <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been in education? Well, that's such a good question. Thank Abby. you. Thank uh, I've been uh, one teacher to, uh, sorry, one year teaching college uh, students in China and seven years in the United States working in a hospital with young interns. More than I would. So, the real question what has brought you to Fountain Lake? Wow. Thank you so very much for that question. Well, first of all, I worked for CHI St. Vincent Hospital that teaches young people with various disabilities how to complete a nine-month internship program in areas like labs, pharmacy, materials management, outpatients, nutritional services, environmental services, cardiology, maintenance, all the entry-level positions. My goodness. Yeah, so from that experience, from that experience, I know what jobs are out there for taking in the hospital medical field, and I know what doors are open to our students here wow. uh, for those that are trying to get their foot on the career ladder nearly everything our students are interested in doing after graduation can be found in the medical hospital field my goodness yeah. that's pretty cra crazy it is so you know you can apply for an entry-level job and you can work your way up hmm very nice to know thank you so you bring a lot of professional guest speakers to our school. I do. And what is this about? How do we find these people and things like that? Okay, well, it doesn't matter where I am. Mm. It really doesn't matter where I am. I love meeting people and listening to their stories, okay? So those moments are priceless. Yes. Then I think to myself, hold on, I should not be the only person that gets to hear these amazing stories. It needs to be shared with our students here. That's fair. So uh, I just start connecting the dots between guest speakers and COBRA students. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So fancy. Thank you. So <laughs> what is the purpose of you bringing these co-hosts here and things as such? What are the, the lessons from it? Okay, well, it's an amazing opportunity to listen and learn from the professionals. You know, put new d ideas on our students' job radar. Thank you so much, Mr. Green. You have a terrific day. Man, and thank you. And we will you. catch you later. Cool. Cool. <laughs> On November 11th, the Fountain Lake Band held a spaghetti banquet. The band boosters made spaghetti and meatballs for parents and others to enjoy while listening to the band members play music. The band members served the parents and earned tips to help pay for their trip to Washington, D.C. to march in the Independence Day Parade in the summer of 2024. The band is so excited for this trip, and this has helped tremendously. That was it for November. I hope to see you all in December. If you want to keep up to date on anything Fountain Lake, be sure to check our socials here. Bye, Cobras.